Hi, my name is Nanda Anugraputra and my matrix number is 185110 and I am going to show you how to differentiate this equation in regards to x, y, x and then y, y and then x. So let's do that, shall we? Right, so first thing what we need to do is to differentiate this equation in regards to x to in regards to x. So in order to differentiate this, we have to do chain rule. We know that, so we have to differentiate the outer part first, which is cos xy, and then we have to differentiate the inner part, which is xy, all in regards to x. So we know that differentiating of cos xy is minus in xy times the differentiation of the inner part, which is x will result and 1, which is, means the only resultant will be y times y plus. Right, so in regards to y, we are going to see this as a constant, so we are going to write it as is, and we are only going to di differentiate this cos x only. So let's, and we know that the differentiation of cos x is a sign. x times, and we're going to write this as is, plus y. Right, so this is the, this is the result of the, this equation in regards to x. So let's move on, shall we? We have to differentiate this equation in regards to y. So we know we, we do the same thing, so minus sign. We know that the differentiation of cos xy in regards to y is still the same, minus sign xy times the inner part, and this times we, we differentiate it in regards to y. So we know that the resultant will be only x plus and we know that we are just going to write this as this, so we're just going to write cos x times, and then cos y is equals to, of course, we know that result in sine y. So now we have to differentiate the equation in regards to x first and then y. So let's pull this up. Let's pull this up, shall we? Right, so we know that the first differentiation will result in this. So now we only need this is the first differentiation in regards to x. So now we need to differentiate it in regards to y. So let's do this, shall we? So, so now so now we are going to differentiate it as is. So this since this has two y in it, so we're gonna have to use product rule. So let's do that. And so let's regard this as u and let's regard this as v. So if you know product rule, it goes u prime times v plus u times v prime. So let's write that, shall we? We know that u prime is equals u prime is equals to cos. Well, we are just going to disregard this. Cos xy times v, which is 1. We're, gonna, we're not going to write that. Plus u, which is minus sine minus sine 
x y times I'm so sorry so sorry oh so sorry um this has to go I'm so sorry um I'm a little bit confused so we're gonna have to write this as y I'm so sorry and minus sign x y times v prime which is one so that will be it and then we are going to have to differentiate this so let's differentiate that so we're going to have to go plus equals to y so we know that we're going to write minus sign x as is times we now get that cos y cos y will go minus sign y Oop. so sorry right so that is a little bit long but that is the result of the rotation in regards to x first and y there's cos xy times y minus sine xy times 1 minus sine x times minus sine y. So let's do in regards to y first and then x first. So let's do that, shall we? Let's copy paste this just to make our lives a little bit easier. So now we know that this is uh, this is in regards to y first. So this is the first this is y this is y prime. So we know that this is a in regards to y. So let's do the same thing, shall we? So now we know that we know that minus sign x y. We're gonna have to use the product rule again, which is u and v. So the same thing u, u prime times v plus u times v prime so we are going to write that there so u prime is equals to of course cos cos xy times v which is x plus plus u which is minus sine xy times 1 because prime is that and then we have to differentiate the outer part which is cos x minus sine y and we know that we are just going to lift this as is and we know that differentiation of cos x will be equal to minus sine x times this as is that's how you differentiate that in regards to y which is y prime and then in regards to x now a little bit of a correction um, there is a minus here so I might actually be wrong but there should be a minus here too in both of these parts because the minus doesn't go just poof to nowhere so I might be a bit wrong on that part but this should be this should be okay in regards to everything so that's how you differentiate it in regards to x this equation in regards to x in regards to y in regards to x and then y and then in regards to y and then x